Welcome back to the newest IV Robotics video. In this video, we are showing off our 4G LTE mod kit. This is actually the newest way to control, develop air, our drone over the internet using a SIM card just like you would find in your smartphone. Typically, you would uh, control, develop air using a radio like this one. Um, this plugs into your phone, tablet, or laptop and allows you to connect to develop air much in the same way you would connect to your phone via like a Wi-Fi network locally, right? Between like a half mile, a mile range in the case of develop air. But with the 4G LTE mod kit, you can connect to develop air from anywhere around the world as long as your phone, tablet, or laptop also has an internet connection. So let's go take a look at the 4G LTE mod kit and how we set it up. Before we go ahead and show you the setup on the computer, we're going to take a look at the inside of the 4G LTE mod kit so you know a little bit more about how it works. Inside you have uh, two boards. You have your 4G LTE board, the one with the SIM card in it. Uh, we're using AT&T, but you can use any GSM carrier. Uh, and then underneath we have a Raspberry Pi, or really what's called a Rad XA board. Uh, it's essentially a Raspberry Pi clone, uh, just a more powerful version. Those are connected with a USB-C hub and a micro USB cable from the 4G LTE hat to the hub, which is plugged into the Rad XA board. Also plugged into that USB hub, you have the USB-C connector that goes into Develop Air. Uh, or the PixHawk inside Develop Air. Um, and then lastly, you have the power cable that also plugs into Develop Air, but a side plate of Develop Air. So now that you know what's inside the 4G LTE mod kit, let's go ahead and look at the software that we're going to be using on the computer. So you can add your phone, tablet, computer, or other device that you want to be able to use to remotely control your Develop Air using your 4G LTE mod kit. Now we're on the computer and we're going to show you Zero Tier. This is the software that we use and will already have set up on your 4G LTE mod kit by the time you receive it. We will already have added your 4G LTE mod kit to your network that we set up. You'll have to just go ahead and reset the temporary password that we set up for you. So once you go ahead and log in, uh, you'll be greeted with uh, just one network ID, unless for whatever reason you requested multiple 4G LTE mod kits with multiple networks. You'll just select your one network from the list here, and then you'll scroll down, keep scrolling, and then you'll see all of your devices that are connected to your network here. We've already gone ahead and connected all the devices that we're going to show um, using Q Ground Control to connect to Develop Air, uh, namely an iPad, an Android phone, and a Windows laptop. But again, as long as your device uh, can run Q Ground Control or Mission Planner and it can connect to the internet, you should be able to use that with Zero Tier to remotely control Develop Air over your 4G LTE connection. All right, now that we've taken a look at the different types of devices we can add to our zero tier network, let's go ahead and actually add those devices. Uh, to do that, first we're going to start on our iPad, and you can see there's a network ID value here on uh, the computer. If you scroll up on the zero tier website, uh, we're still in that network. You can actually see a few different places here directly under the name of the network, and again up in the URL bar. So you're going to want to copy and paste that over to the device that you're adding to the network. And again, uh, in this case, we're going to set up uh, the iPad. So you'll actually just go to the App Store, download the Zero Tier app, and then you will add a network, and you'll see uh, the list of networks that you have available just like you see here. In our case, we already have two networks added. Um, but in your case, you'll hit the, uh, uh, the plus sign in the upper right hand corner. Uh, go ahead and accept zero tiers terms and conditions and then add in your network ID. Once your network ID is added, you can go ahead back to the main screen, enable the network that you want to connect to. And if this is your first time connecting to a zero tier network or a VPN on this device, uh, you will have to give Apple the permissions uh, to connect to that VPN. And then you'll see up in the top right hand corner, you're successfully connected to your network if it shows the little VPN icon uh, between your Wi-Fi network and your battery life. Uh, so now that we've connected our iPad to the zero tier network, I'm gonna do the same on an Android device. 
Assuming that you already have the zero tier app downloaded from the Play Store, go ahead and open it. Again, log in if you need to, and if you don't have a network uh, already added on this device, go ahead, just hit add new network or add network, and then enter in the network ID for the network that you wanna connect to as we reviewed on the computer. Once that's added, you'll just go ahead and go back to the previous screen, connect to that network. Once you go ahead and actually add your device or copy the network over to your device, you can go back to your computer uh, that we started at. And you should see now uh, new devices that do not have this checkbox selected. You'll want to go ahead and authorize that device uh, to add it to your network by selecting that checkbox. And then you're going to want to manually so assign an IP address uh, to that new device. So there will already be a, an IP address assigned, but in the way that you uh, in the way that we set it up, you'll want to select one of the IP address uh, address ranges here uh, from this IPv4 auto assign section. Once you select any of these, uh, you'll just want to go ahead and change that last digit, like one of these highlighted values, uh, like you see here for Neil Laptop, that's at 0.99. We basically add all of our devices from 0.93 to 0.100. So if we ever need to troubleshoot or help you uh, with your connection, uh, we're actually able to do so. But you'll just wanna set up your devices from 0.1 to 0.7. So we already have the 4G LTE mod kit set up as 0.3 here. Uh, so you'll want to use 0.1 or 0.2 or between 0.4 and 0.7 uh, for any of your other devices. Now, if you need more space available, reach out to us if you want to add more devices and we can set that up for you. But by default, you essentially have six available devices that you can add to this network. Now that you've seen how to add both an Android phone and iPad, if you do want to go ahead and add a Windows computer like the one that we're already on, once you go ahead and download Zero Tier, um, in the bottom uh, menu, your, your taskbar on Windows, you'll actually have a Zero Tier icon, and then you can select what network you're connected to, um, and you can add a new network or join a new network, just like I showed you on the Android or iPad. Uh, so now that we have connected our devices that we want to be able to fly with in zero tier, we're going to go out to the field, show you what this looks like in Q ground control, and then actually fly develop air over the internet. All right, now that we're here at the local drone park, we're going to go ahead and open up both Q ground control and mission planner to show you how to connect to your develop air using both of these programs. So let's go ahead and open up Q Ground Control. While Q Ground Control is opening, I'm gonna go ahead and just slide on the 4G LTE mod kit to the rail on Develop Air, lock into place, and then we're gonna go ahead and connect Develop Air. We have our side plates labeled just with a marker to know which way the ground is facing. So just make sure you align the connector with the connection on the side plate. And once it's provided power from the side plate, you can go ahead and plug in the battery to develop air. Once you hear the beeping initialize, then we actually plug in the USB-C connector to the side. And this will start uh, allowing develop air to communicate over the internet. From Q ground control to enable this, we need to hit the Q in the top left hand corner, hit application settings, go to comm links, and then we're going to add a new comm link. You might have seen we already had two added for different 4G uh, connections we've set up previously. You can name your connection whatever you would like, um, just like 4G LTE here. And you can even select it for it to automatically connect on start, just as you would expect uh, for it to work with a telemetry radio. Um, we're not going to select that, but we are going to select UEP from the dropdown, and then just enter in our port, which is 6767. And now we can go ahead and connect there. 
I'm going to select one of my previous options that has already been set up and I'm going to hit connect. Now, again, with us having three different networks that we've set up uh, previously, I'm just making sure I'm connected to the right zero tier network. And again, you can choose another one if need be from the same menu. One other thing you'll need to make note of is your phone, tablet, or computer also has to be connected to the internet. So go ahead and if you're in a spot with Wi-Fi, go ahead and connect to your, your device to Wi-Fi if it's not already. Or in my case, I'm actually just using a hotspot from my phone so I can have my computer connected to the internet. Stabilize flight mode. Once you're connected uh, to the internet from your uh, tablet, phone, or laptop, like we are here on this Windows computer, the connection will establish in queue ground control just like you would expect from the telemetry radio. And now you can create your flight plan and go ahead and fly develop air. So we're gonna go ahead and jump to that. Once we have our flight plan created, we'll go ahead and take off with develop air. We'll be right back. All right, now that we just finished our flight with Develop Air using Q Ground Control, let's show you how to set up the connection and mission planner as well. While it shouldn't matter what ground control program uh, you use, we really recommend Q Ground Control as it's the most user-friendly or intuitive program. Mission Planner does give you some more capabilities with other payloads, as you may know from some of our previous videos. Um, but this same connection should work in any ground control program. The setup might just be a little bit different. On Mission Planner, as you saw, I just selected the drop down up in the top right hand corner to select UDP. And then the listen port opens up. Again, we're just uh, entering in 6767, hit OK. And then Mavlink will connect again, just like you would expect from a telemetry radio. Now you can go ahead, create your mission, control a servo, or do whatever you would like uh, with Develop Air over this 4G LTE connection and mission planner. Now that we've shown you how to use Q Ground Control and Mission Planner to fly Develop Air over the internet using our 4G LTE mod kit, please don't hesitate to reach out if you have any more questions and we'll be more than happy to help you in the comments section down below or alternatively, feel free to reach out to us in our Discord server, also in the description. Thank you.